guest is a talented actor you know from shows like That 70s Show and films such as Black's Klansman. He executive produces and stars in Home Economics, which airs Wednesdays on ABC. Let's take a look. Oh my God, you're right. Hanging out with people half our age is kind of fun. I just signed up for student council. Jeremy just asked me to dinner with his grandparents. I go or anything I want. And the night is still young. And so are we. Oh! Think about it, how would we even test simulation theory? Any sufficiently sophisticated simulation would be designed to evade such a test. Dude, you're scaring me right now. Dude, I know. Please welcome to the show, Topher Grace, everybody! Oh, man, so good to see you. It is great to see you, too. Uh, this is a, a wonderful show about uh, adult siblings with a complicated relationship. In that clip, you were not playing a college student. You were yeah, playing... Yeah, just to be clear, yeah, those <laughs> days are over. Yes, but this was uh, about people uh, closer to our age who are trying to relive their younger days. Yes, they're having a tough week, and I go to... I'm a novelist, and we have twins, so I'm like... I decided to go work at a college, at a library, and it's really dim lighting. <laughs> And one of the students is like, hey, you want to come to this party? And I go, and then my wife comes to stop me, and then she starts partying. And uh, spoiler, they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, uh, you hurt yourself uh, in this episode, in many yeah. of the episodes. You're uh, an executive producer. Do you ever try to talk them out of having your character get injured so often? No, it's the worst, because when I read these, I mean, I knew you when I was uh, back in the day, when I yeah. was 25. Yeah, back and when you could jump, uh, do a broad jump through the sky. That's what I was always doing. Yeah, as you just remember. constantly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, when I read the scripts, I feel like I'm 25. I mean, I used to always do this stuff on 70s show. I remember in between the like acts, we'd like be jumping on a trampoline or something. And then when I do it, like I, I broke my ankle. This was right before <laughs> one of those things you saw. We had to jump out a window. They figure out who we are, so we <laughs> literally jump out the window. And I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can stick that landing. And then. Uh, luckily, it was Christmas break afterwards, so I had like 18 days to like heal up. Did you, when you broke it, was a... I, I didn't break it, I didn't break it. Okay, good, thank goodness. Because I was going to say 18 days doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, but that's the kind of actor I am. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You've always, through, yeah. you've always been. Yeah. Hey, you know, so we, you talk about the fact that we knew each other. I knew you when you were cast as Venom in uh, one of the previous... Wait, wait can, I can I tell a story when we first met? Yeah, please. My favorite, I was in a movie... With uh, Dennis Quaid. Yeah. And you came by, and I knew who you were. I was a big fan of yours from SNL. You weren't even doing Update yet. And we were talking, and Dennis Quaid, and this is really a Dennis Quaid's heyday. And you, he said, uh, you said, hi, Dennis, nice to meet you. And he said, uh, no, we've met before. <laughs> and you said, I feel like I would have remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying, right, it was insulting. I was trying to stress to him, like, it would be super insulting if I didn't remember meeting Dennis Quaid. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good <laughs> But yeah, we, I remember you called me when, uh, when I just moved to New York. Yeah. And uh, you said, hey, uh, I know you're in Spider-Man. They hadn't announced what I was gonna be in Spider-Man 3, and you said, I, I, what are you playing? And I, I knew you could keep a secret, so I said, I'm playing Venom. And you were like, oh, it, hmm, like, is... <laughs> He's a kind of a bigger guy. And I was like, oh, no, no, this is going to work. Like, he's, they got a whole new take on it, and it'll be yeah. the most I was popular. Like, so is it a cartoon now? Are they doing it? <laughs> are, you the vo are you the voice of Venom? <laughs> I actually had this idea that we couldn't make it work as an ad because Home Economics premiered literally like one day from when Venom 2 was going to premiere. And I was like, what we should do an ad. They just couldn't. It was like Sony and Disney, and they couldn't figure it out where all of our characters on Home Economics were sitting watching a, I, I hope this is all, well, edit this out if it's not kosher. <laughs> but we, we were all watching the trailer for Venom 2, and I just wanted my character to be, like, not into it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, you know, I mean, who even is this guy? Like, like, oh, he's so jacked, he looks great. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> like, who is Tom Hardy? And they're like, you know, Mad Max and, like, Dunkirk. I'm like, I don't, yeah, but is he, like, a good actor, and they're like, yeah, he's been nominated for an Academy Award. I'm like, oh, okay, but like, like comic book villain, and they're like, Bane, yeah, he's like amazing. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know, I always picture like, yeah, that yeah. 70s show. <laughs> um, 
Like I thought it was more of that vibe. You should be more like a, like a svelte, like, you know, like a <laughs> little guy. <laughs> you, um, hey, uh, you just got to give answers, uh, or ask questions, I should say, or give answers on College, uh, college Jeopardy. Right. And I heard that this is a big deal for your mom. I should note, this would be a huge deal if I appeared on Jeopardy uh, for my parents who watch yeah, Seth, it. You could be on Jeopardy. I am so, I can only play smart people. And <laughs> that's basically what I did. <laughs> they had like cue cards. I still, we did like many takes. <laughs> I had no idea what the answers were or what I was even talking about. Um, but then I got to say I was in Jeopardy and you look like really smart when you're on it. Yeah, and was your, your mom was impressed. Yeah, I think she's, now she can say my son was on Jeopardy. <laughs> well, that's great. And nobody, and nobody asked any follow-ups to get to the bottom of like what you were doing on it. Nope. <laughs> you got to, uh, speaking of smart people, uh, Mark Cuban uh, did an episode of the show. Yeah. You're, uh, you are a Shark Tank fan, correct? I am the biggest Shark Tank. I, mean, I think most, my wife's an actor too, and we, we kind of watch it to feel like we understand business in some yeah. way. And we kind of chime in on like, I don't think this is like a good deal for... <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, but like Mark is uh, incredible and you know such a great guy on that show. But we asked him to come do home economics, and he said yes. And it's all in a poker table scene, and so I got to spend like a couple days with him, and I felt so uh, like like good at business. <laughs> <laughs> After, that's, after that's, the third that's the correct term. That's good how what business. he says. Yeah. yeah, that's how they say no, it. He was so cool. He really was so cool. Like surprisingly good at what at acting. Yeah, and. Jimmy and I were like, <laughs> at first we were like gonna try to give him some tips or something. By the end, he was like improvising and it was good. Like a lot of it made the show. And Jimmy and I were like, why don't you stay in your lane, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like this isn't, like you, can, you can't have everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this? You stay, I won't seed fund any new technology. <laughs> and you stay away from <laughs> sitcoms. Where he, uh, Jimmy has like, a, he's not as big a fan as I am. And he was kind of making fun of that I was a super fan. And then to get under my skin, he, he started pitching all these products to Mark. And Mark was such a sweetheart, he really gave him feedback. But it was like uh, Milwaukee talkies, which are walkie talkies that only work in Milwaukee. <laughs> and, like, and Birkenstocks was his thing. Like, which is, if you, if you want to wear socks but not Birkenstocks, the Birkenstocks are painted on the socks. <laughs> and he was patient with this. No, Mark was like, I think, yeah, there's a, there's a place for that. Like, it might not be for me. You know? <laughs> so he didn't jump in on Milwaukee talkies. That's, uh... I, no, think man. Gonna, I think he's going to regret that one. He's regret that, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for being here, buddy. It's oh, always such a pleasure to see you guys. That's Topher Grace. Home Economics here is Wednesdays on ABC.